Hello everyone. You welcome to this week's Tech Tuesday webinar on Axon adding, updating, and deleting data using API calls. I'm Vrinda, your host for today's session. And today we have with us Ebran Gallardo, a consultant from the Informatica Professional Services team, and Lisa Morris, our senior principal from the Informatica Professional Services team. Before we start the session, let's go through some housekeeping tips. The webinar is for one hour that includes a 15 minutes Q&A. You can post your queries in the Q&A box. The LN participants are muted for the entire session and the session is being recorded and will be available in the Informatica Support YouTube channel and the Success Portal. You'll be able to download the slide deck from the Success Portal as well. Please feel free to put in your feedbacks and suggestions for the session in the post webinar survey. The Tech Tuesdays webinars are hosted within the Success Portal, which is a microlearning platform that offers free and unlimited learning to all registered users. This feature-rich platform was launched to help you learn and use Informatica products better. Here are a few important links that you can go over later that will help you in your product adoption journey with Informatica. Over to you, Abran and Lisa. Thank you. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining today's Tech Tuesdays webinar. My name is Abram Gallardo, and in this presentation, I'm going to do a deep dive into the work we have done regarding the API calls from ServiceNow to Axon for one of our clients. Before we delve into the actual information, let's go through what we're going to cover today. We're going to kick things off by discussing the customer's challenge. Then we'll have an overview into their solution and what our end goal is. Next, I will show all the technical aspects of the solution by going through the steps of posting an API call and explaining how updates work, as well as doing a deletion. Finally, I will provide demonstrations on how to do these API calls and end with the Q&A session. So this customer replaced Caliber with Axon, and they had all their information in ServiceNow, which would correspond to Axon facet roles, objects, and relationships. So whenever they change information there, they wanted to see how those changes were reflected in Axon. This customer has a very mature data governance program, which is why they wanted to do this integration with Axon. To shore up their data governance program, this customer deployed Axon, EDC, and data privacy management. And using a third-party application called Postman, we can connect to Axon and place information there using the same Axon bulk upload spreadsheets that are provided in the UI. We will feed these through Postman and make field mappings there exactly like an Axon. If changes are made to this data, then we want Axon to reflect the most up-to-date information. Without our solution, they would have had to go into Axon manually and perform bulk uploads whenever information has changed, thus reducing a very time and resource intensive and error prone process into a streamlined, repeatable, automated process that can be scripted. So the first step that you should do is authenticate yourself whenever you sign into Postman. I'm starting off now by going into a, a demonstration of all the of all the different screens that you will encounter. And when you go into Postman, the first thing that you want to do is get an authorization token, which would be the equivalent to signing into Axon. So that's what this step is. So here's the URL that you would use. This would be your Axon URL that you normally use with API login check tacked on at the end. And this will be a post call. You then make two keys with the, the type as form data, one key named username and one key named password, and you key in your username and password just like an axon. And when you send this call, you obtain a very long token that you just copy and keep in a notepad. And that's going to be how you sign into axon from Postman now. So now with this, I'm going to demonstrate how you would upload a bulk upload spreadsheet into the system facet. So like I said before, the first thing that you wanna do is you sign into Axon. So that's done by going to the authorization tab. And by the way, you would open up a new tab to do this. 
you would sign in in the authorization tab and select your type as a bearer token. And within the token, then you would you would put in your your token that you received in the past. After you do that, then you move on to the to the body and it, you enter the following parameters. So here's the URL that you would use. And as you can see here, so you would use your normal axon URL with, with it tacked on at the end, this, this information here. And this target reference that's specified here, that one changes depending on what facet you're doing. And there is a, and there's a list of target references within the API guide. So the type of call that you're going to do is a post call and the type will be form data as well. And then you make a key called file. And for the value, you upload your bulk upload file, which could be in a comma separated value format or XLSX format. The most important part is that you should use the bulk upload file that is provided in Axon as a template. That's going to make your life much easier down the line, and I'll explain why in the next slide. So once you run that API call, then you get status 201 created, as you can see here. And you also get a file reference within the response body. The file reference is going to be your necessary output from that, from that call. So now that you've done that, imagine that you're in Axon and you do the bulk upload call from there, and then you click next. The next step within Axon is to map the fields to one another from the, from the bulk upload spreadsheet into Axon. So you open up a new tab. And like I said before, you authenticate yourself in the authorization tab by putting in your previous bearer token. And in the request body, you enter the following parameters. So you put in your URL, which is your Axon URL, but with it tacked on at the end would be this bulk upload v1 job at the end. And this will also be a post call as well. It's going to be a raw type with a JSON format. And then you create this, this, bulk, this script, which maps the fields from the bulk upload sheet to Axon. So as you can see here, your file reference is an input there, as well as your target reference that I discussed previously, which can be found in the Axon API guide. And once you fill out this information, I'll show you how to make the script in the next slide. But once you fill out this information, then you get status 201 created as well as a job ID, which you can utilize to check the bulk upload status here in Postman. And also you can use it in app. You can check the bulk upload status in Axon. However, in Axon, you don't need the job ID. So like I said before, it's important that you use the, the, bulk, the bulk upload templates that are provided in Axon for this reason. So your source field and your target field, it's easiest if they have the same names. So if you use the bulk upload templates from Axon, then your source field will be the same as your target field. And that way you don't have to worry about changing field names. So as you can see here, they all correspond to one another. I'm running out of room here, but you get the you get the point. And so when you do this, then you're mapping the fields from the bulk upload spreadsheet into Axon. And it, after you run this call, then you should be finished. So I spoke about creating a uh, a facet in Axon. However, you can also update it. And that's very, very similar to how it's done in, uh, in, in Postman, how I just showed. 
And if you recall in Axon, whenever you want to update an object, then all that you have to do is change the dropdown from upload new items to update existing items. The same can be said of, of, Axon, of Postman, sorry. Um, you just change the target reference from, for example, system bulk create to system bulk update. And whichever ones that can be updated in Axon, they can also be updated in Postman. So, of course, these target refs are found in the API guide, and you can update an object, but you cannot update a role or a relationship. The way that you update a role or a relationship is by, is by deleting the role or relationship altogether and then re-uploading it with the new information that you want to put in. Now I'm going to demo a deletion of a relationship. And if I were to update an object, that would be redundant. However, I have done that in the demonstrations that are going to be towards the end of this presentation. So as you can see here, the first step that you do, like I said before, was authorize yourself. So you put in your token as, as, um, as before to sign into Axon. And then you go over to the body tab and you put in your script. So the URL that you're going to use is the Axon URL with it tacked on at the end is bulk upload v1 relationships. And the type of call that it will be will be a delete call this time since we want to delete the, the facet over the relationship overall. The type will be raw and the format will be JSON. And this script. I'll show you how to make it in the next slide, but it's very similar to how the, the field mapping script is made. So once you create the script, you can make it for however many facets that you want. You can make it for one or for many. And then once you make this call, then you get status 200 okay, as well as a job ID. And with that job ID, then, you can check the, the job status here in Postman. I'll now show you how to create the, the script. So, like I said before, it's really important that you just use the bulk upload file template that's in Axon and use that to build your script. So, they all follow a certain type of pattern where the type will be the type of facet and stop on warning is true. And the segment will be whatever segment that it's placed in an axon. In this case, it was enterprise, but the objects is all the, all the headings from the bulk upload file. So as you can see here, the policy ref, it's all the same. And I say this because the spelling is important so that it can match the, the field in Axon. And like I said before, this can be used to delete as many roles or relationships as desired. So now I'm going to show you how to check the job status which is very simple. Um, I'll show how it's done in both Postman as well as in Axon. So in Postman, the way that it'll work is you, of course, authenticate yourself by going through the authorization tab and selecting your type as bearer token and putting in your token there. But the status, you just put in your URL, your Axon URL first, and then you tack on this stuff at the end. And here you just put in your job ID and this will be a get call. And I'll, you don't have to do anything in the body tab. You just send this call and you obtain the status of it. So as you can see here, it went through successfully. And for job ID 8914, it completed successfully as well. Now, if there was any errors, then it would tell you here that an error occurred on validation or there was something wrong somewhere. Now I'm going to show you in how this is done in Axon. 
So to check your job status in Axon, you go into your account and then you go into your activity stream and check your jobs. And then you can see all of the, all the different API calls that you've done from Postman. And if there's any errors that you can download an error log here where it'll tell you what errors specifically and what fields you need to correct. But if, if it's all good, then it'll just give you the option to download the original bulk upload file as well. So now I have links to demonstrations here for when this slide deck is linked, is sent out, but now we'll go into the actual demonstration portion. Thank you. Here's my contact information if you have any questions, but this has been a, a pleasure and I hope you got some good information out of it. Hi everyone and thank you for joining this demonstration. In this demo, I'll show you guys how to add and update individual objects in Axon. I'll be using the system facet as my example. So to make this script here, you should download the template from, from the from Axon. Like that. And as you can see here, the short name, long name, all of these are fields that are shown in the script. Now, similar to how you do it in the bulk upload template, if there is no information to be put into a field, then you just leave it blank. And you denote that in the script by putting in two double quotes. But I filled out all the required fields for this demonstration. And it, here at the top, you specify um, that this will be a system through stop on warning, and this will be in the enterprise segment. So you have to put in your bearer token to sign into Axon. Make sure that the content type is set to application JSON. And as you can see here in the body, here's the script. So now I'll send this call. You can see status is 201 created, meaning that we have successfully entered it into Axon. Now, if you go all the way down, you can see this, the system right here, created today. So that is how you create a script and create a system. Now I'll show you guys how to update the system. Very similar procedure, you know, you use the exact same script. And however, instead of a post, you're going to do a put now. Make sure that all the information matches. And now to change some information, I'll change this one here. Yep. So now I'm going to send this call. As you can see, this is, this is going to change here. Here's what it said before. Like Tuesday demonstration. And now I'm going to send this call. That is now 200 updated, which means that it has successfully updated. So now I'm going to go into Axon and refresh. And now you can see that this is the change that, that is displayed. And that's how you add and update individual objects in Axon. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you how to add and update objects in Axon using bulk upload files. So I'll start with adding them. So you obtain the bulk upload template from Axon by downloading this one. And it'll look something like this once you download it. And then you fill it out and put it into and put it into Postman. Here's the one that I filled out with for the purposes of this demonstration. As you can see, I filled out all the required fields. And now going through the tabs here in Postman, we're going to do a post call. Here's the URL of Axon. 
and then we add on a few a few things to the end to you know to know what API call we're going to do. In the parameters area, you specify your target reference, which will be system bulk create, your bearer token as well. You don't have to do anything in the headers area. And then you upload your file here. So now we're going to run this call. As you can see before, I didn't have credentials to access Axon, so I fixed that. And now I'm going to send this call. As you can see now, it says status 201 created with all the information that I need, but the most important one is this file reference here. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to map the fields much like you would do in Axon. So going from the top, we're going to do a post call, bulk upload job. You put in your bear token, don't need to put anything in the headers area. And then you generate a script. So the source field and target field is basically the field mappings that you do normally in Axon. And the way that I made this was by looking at the template that is provided in Axon and just copying the same names. So as you can see, short name is going to go to short name. In Axon, long name will go to long name. External will go to external. And yeah, that's how it'll go. So now I'll put in the file reference up here. So we're good there. And now I'm going to run this call. So as you can see now, it's status 201 created. So that's good. And now we want to check if, if, um, if it completed successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the status here in Postman and in Axon. So we grab this ID here, 2470. And then we run this call. As you can see here, it's completed. The job completed successfully. So now we're going to go to Axon and go to the system area. And as you can see here, bulk upload tech Tuesday, all right here. And you can also check the status here in Axon as well. So you can go to your account, activity stream, and my jobs. Here you can see system upload new items successfully done. And if there's any issues, then you can download the error file. For example, for this one, you can download the error report and it tells you exactly what to correct in the file. So now that we've done that one, we're going to update the same object. So let me save this one and exit out of it. So for the bulk update, it's almost exactly the same as the bulk upload. You just change your parameter to be system bulk update. Same thing, you put in your bearer token. You don't need to put in any headers. And here in the body, you upload the file. So let's make a change to this file right now. So. Now, make sure to save that, exit out of that. And now we're going to select it again. All this is done. So now we're just going to send the call now. As you can see, it's status to and created, which is great. And the file reference is also provided as well. So you grab this file reference. And then exactly the same as you did before with the system facet bulk upload, you put in the file reference. So same URL as before, no parameters, you put in your authorization bearer token, no headers. And then you put in your file reference here. As you can see here, we denote that it'll be a system bulk update. And same thing, you just make sure. So now we're going to send the call. And 
as you can see, again, status tool and created. We sent the update call. And the ID here is 2471. So let's check in the check status tab. And in this one, all that you have to do is put in the is put in this URL and authorize yourself. There's nothing else that needs to be done. So now let's run this call and make sure that it completed successfully. As you can see, it's a type of system bulk update and it completed successfully. So now let's go to Axon. And as you can see here, you can see that it also shows an axon as well. And now let's go to the to the actual system and make sure that the change happened. So as you can see, the description changed now. And that is it for this demonstration. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to upload a single system role into Axon through the use of an API call in Postman. So this is the call that you're going to end up doing. You have to authorize yourself through a bearer token. And this bearer token is, is obtained by putting in your credentials into, into Postman and obtaining a bearer token from that. You need to add on the content type to be application JSON. And in the body, you're going to do a raw type with JSON as a type as well. So the way you go about is you put in these headings from the from the upload template that's that you can download from Axon. So to get that template you would go into Axon, go to create, upload from file. Select relation select the role, sorry and then scroll down to find system role. Then you would download the template and this is the template that you end up getting. And as you can see, it follows the exact same notation as the headings in the, in the template. So I filled out all the required fields here. And I'm going to send this call. It's a post call. And as you can see here, the, the URL as well. So once you send this call, it'll give us status to a one created if it was successful. There we go. So it's to a one created. And now let's go back into Axon. Find your system here. Go into stakeholders. And as you can see, I'm now a system steward for the Tech Tuesday system test system. And now let's say I want to delete this one. So it's the exact same call. You don't need to change anything, only the, the type of call that you do. So you change it from post to delete. And now I'll send this call. And when I refresh the page, I'm no longer going to be there. As you can see, it's all deleted. So thank you for joining this demonstration. This was on adding a single role into Axon and then deleting it afterwards in case you want to do any updates to it. Hey, everyone. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do bulk upload of system roles into Axon using Postman to an API call. So first you obtain your template from Axon by going to the create menu, upload from file. Go to role, go all the way down and get system role and then you download the template. It's gonna look something like this. So you fill this out with as, many, as much information as you'd like. And then you set up your API call by putting in the target reference as system will create. 
and then move on to authorization and put in your bearer token that you obtain by putting in your credentials into Postman. Don't need to put anything in the headers area. And you put in your file as your key and you browse to upload the, the bulk upload template. So the one that is right here is, let me pull it up. So in short, we're going to be adding a role called Bulk Upload Tech Tuesday, and I will be the system steward for that one. So just so you guys can see it before. Once it loads. Stakeholders, and you can see that the system's not connected to any stakeholder. So now let's run this call. As you can see, now we have status 201 created. So we're going to obtain the file reference, copy that one, and come over here to map the fields, very similar to Axon. So you put in your target reference there, and these target references are all in the list in the API guide that will be provided as well. And so you want to do your field mappings from your source field to your target field. And that's why it's really important to use the files that are already in Axon so that you don't have to make any changes and, and your source fields and target fields will have the same notation. As you can see, short name will be mapped to short name and so forth. So now that we put in that file reference, we're gonna send this call as well. And in this one, you just put in your access token and then you build out your script. Yep. So now I'll show you guys how to check the, the status of the job. So you're gonna do a get call. It's very simple. So you just authorize yourself using your bearer token. And then it, in your URL, you just put in the, the job ID that you got right here. So this one was 2491. Send that call now. As you can see, it says system role, upload new items. It was completed successfully with one tick. And now I'm going to refresh this screen in Axon. And as you can see now, I'm the system steward for the system. Now let's say that we want to delete multiple roles because we want to change whoever's on there. So that would be a bulk updating job. So first you'd have to delete all the roles and then add them again by doing this process. But with this, you, you just write out a script. It's not done through an Excel sheet. And you, can, and you can do as many repetitions of this as you'd like. So I am the system steward for both the Tech Tuesday system test system and the bulk upload Tech Tuesday system. And I want to delete myself from both of them. If I wanted to do a third one, I just you know copy, copy this information and then paste it again and then fill out the information. So with this one, all you have to do is authorize yourself using your bear token and make sure that your content type will be application JSON. And then after that, you just run the API call. So now I'll send this call and it'll delete me. So we can check the status with 2492. And as you can see, two roles were deleted and it was completed successfully. So now let's check an axon. And as you can see, I was deleted from it. Also, you can check the status of your job in axon by going to your account, activity stream, 
my jobs. And you can see everything that I've been doing here. And if there's any errors, you can download the error log. For example, all the way down here, there was one that failed. So you can download the error report. And yeah, that is how you would um, bulk upload system roles and then delete them as well. Thank you for watching this demonstration. Hey everyone, in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to upload a single relationship into Axon, as well as delete it in case you want to make any updates to it. So this is how you build out your API call. You're gonna do a post and this will be the URL that you use. You authorize yourself using the bearer token and you specify that this will be an application JSON content type. And to build out the script, you go to Axon and you download the, the bulk upload template and match up the template, match up the column titles. As you can see here, it'll be a business area and system relationship in the enterprise segment. And where I got these column names from is here in the create tab, you go to the upload from file. And then you download the template there. And this is what it'll look like. So then you just match up the column titles there. Yep. So we're going to establish the relationship between API test system and the treasury office business area. And let me show you that right now so that you can see it's blank. So you go to the impact tab and see that it has no impact on any other items. So we're gonna run this call now. The status 201 created, meaning that it was successfully done, no errors. So now let's refresh the screen. Okay. So that's how you insert one relationship into Axon. Now, if you'd like to delete one relationship, it's very simple. All that you have to do is just change your HTTP to delete. And after that, you run this call. See status 200 okay. So now let's go back to Axon and refresh this now. As you can see now, it has no impact on any other items. And that's how you upload one relationship and then delete the same relationship. Thank you for viewing this demonstration. Hi everyone. In this demonstration, I'll show you guys how to do a bulk upload of relationships into Axon, as well as how to delete them if you want to make changes to them. So first of all, you want to grab your template from Axon. So you go into Axon and download your template from here. After that, you'll get something that looks like this one. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've, um, I've already filled it out. And so this one's the one that we're going to be doing. Let me show you the actual system in Axon. So it's API test. And as you can see, it's related to Treasury Office, but we also want to relate it to census set data process demo business areas. So going into Postman, we'll make an API call with the parameters being defined as a target reference is the business area and system bulk create. These target references are found in the API guide and the authorization will do a bear token that we've, that we've already obtained in, in a previous um, API call. 
you don't have to do anything to the headers area. And in the body, you just upload your file with the file key. This will be a post API call with this URL denoting business, business area and system full create. So let's send this API call now. And as you can see, status 201 created means that it was successful. And so we want to grab this file reference for the next step. The next step will be to map the fields, much like you would do if you were doing a bulk upload in Axon. There, you match the column, the source columns to the target columns. So let's just copy this file reference. And the way that you make this mapping is by mapping the fields in, in your upload file to the fields in Axon. So the source field, as you can see, system short name matches the same one that's in Axon. That's why it's important to actually grab the template from Axon and use that as your, as your template for uploading. So with this one, you just put in the file reference. This will be a post API call with this URL. This one doesn't change. This URL does not change irrespective of if you're doing a relationship, a role, or an object. And as you can see, you also specify the target reference in the script. All that you have to do other than in the body is put in your bearer token. Yep. So now we're going to run this call. And as you can see, the ID is 2499. So this idea is important to us so that we can check the status of the job. And we can check that both in Postman and in Axon, and I'll demonstrate both. So you do a get call with this URL, and at the end, you, you attach the, the ID. So this one will be 2499, and this will be a bear, and you just have to authorize yourself using the bear token that you generated before. So once you send this one, you can see that it's completed successfully. And now you can go into Axon and actually see that. And now you can see that it's related to two. You can also check the job status here in Axon by going to your name and going to your account. And then your activity stream, your jobs, and as you can see here, it gives you all the information and you can download error logs or original files from here. So now I'll show you guys how to delete these relationships from Axon. Let's say that I want to associate it with a different one and no longer with, I want to associate the system with the business area and no longer with this, with this business area. So very simple. You do a you do a delete command and using this URL here. And here's your bearer token as well. You have to authorize yourself, make sure that the content type will be application JSON, and then you build out a script. And this script can be as long or as short as you'd like. If you want to delete three of them, then you would just copy this area and then paste it again down here so that it's, it's all uniform. But as you can see, I'm, filled it out already. So as you can see, it'll be business area and system in the enterprise segment. And the way that I've gotten these names is from the bulk upload template. So as you can see here, system short name, system short name, and so forth. And I have both of the business areas that, that I've made relationships with. And now I'm going to delete them using this command. So I'll send it now. And I can also check the status of this one as well. So as you can see, it's 2,500. So I'll go here to check status and change the 2,499 to 2,500. And as you can see, the job completed successfully with two, two lines affected. And now if I go back into Axon and check, you'll see that they won't be there anymore. impact and where there once was two relationships is no longer you can 
also check and see the, that the delete job was done here in Axon. So like I said, activity screen and my jobs. So you can see it right here. See that it was two items. So that's how you would upload and delete relationships in bulk into Axon using API calls and Postman. Thank you for watching this present, this demonstration. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video and, um, and the demonstrations. Um, are there any questions about API calls in Axon? All right, well, we've got one question that asks, um, what are other scenarios where you'd use the add, update, delete API calls? Um, in this scenario, uh, as Avron explained, we had a customer who had a very mature data governance um, process and they were using ServiceNow uh, to capture a lot of their information. So they wanted to port the information from ServiceNow over to Axon. So that's what he was demoing. But we do have other customers who gather information um, across different facets in a single spreadsheet. And then we can use an API, a series of API calls to parse out that information from that single spreadsheet into multiple bulk upload spreadsheets for the appropriate facet, for the appropriate facet to facet relationships, and then script all those API calls together um, and then do an upload to take, you know, what looks like a single questionnaire and actually upload it into Axon. And then you could see, you know, whatever facets you added and whatever relationships between those facets were added. So that's another um, scenario that we're seeing quite frequently. Any other questions? All right, someone asks um, whether we can use Postman, uh, if we have to use Postman or if we can use other tools to make API calls. And yes, you can use your favorite um, you know, web API testing tool like Postman. Um, I've seen people use SOAP UI. Um, I've also seen people script um, API calls in just Java code, in Python script. And for our Informatica customers, we strongly encourage you to use our IICS CAI tool, our cloud application integration tool, um, to do the scripting of your API call. So we have a number of customers that are already doing that um, and find it more beneficial to be able to do the scripting of the API calls in a more graphical manner than in the actual text code-based uh, manner. Uh, so once you have you know, the actual API call configured in CAI, um, you can then string together like you saw Abron demonstrate, you know, getting the access token, getting the file name, and then actually making the API call um, with those, those three steps kind of all strung together in your CAI map. Another person asked, is there a delete for the facet? So we showed you in the demo here how in order to do an update of a role or a relationship that um, you have to first delete the original one and then re-add the new one. Um, but you cannot do a delete API call for a facet itself. And the reason for that is deleting a, a, a facet itself um, is part of the super admin responsibilities. So somebody like a super admin has to know what the audit expiration is of that item in Axon and when it's no longer really needed. Um, so we don't want just anybody to willy-nilly delete things out of Axon once it's in production because Axon was built for that audit process to show how things change over time so that if you ever get audited um, by a third party, you can say, you know, this report, you know, came from this data uh, through this lineage with these definitions at this particular point in time versus, you know, two years down the road, that same report, you know, came through this lineage with these definitions at that point in time. So that's why we don't allow the um, delete API call um, as a public API call. Um, a publicly available API call in Axon because it really is a super admin uh, function to figure out what 
should and should not be deleted. Now, the specific instructions that you saw um, Abron demo in the screenshots um, during the demonstration and presentation, uh, we are going to be publishing those as KB articles, because uh, I know sometimes when you're trying to learn something, looking at a video is a little bit more difficult than actually following step-by-step -step in a text document. Um, so look for those KB articles on Informatica Network coming shortly. We're in the process of publishing those as we speak. Um, I just don't have the links for them just at this moment. So those, those are available, will be available on Informatica Network, step-by-step uh, -step instructions, just like you saw uh, Abron run through them in the demo today. Are there any other questions? All right, we've got, uh, oh, somebody is saying thanks that this helped. Okay, one last other question that came up is, are there API calls for our cloud product? So our cloud data governance catalog product, and yes, they are. Uh, there are API calls for it, and we are currently working on another Tech Tuesday webinar uh, for those API calls to CDGC. Um, they'll be very similar to the ones that you just saw here for Axon, um, but we will be working on a Tech Tuesday webinar for API calls specifically for Cloud Data Governance, or CDGC. All right, any other questions out there? All right, well, thank you everyone for joining this Tech Tuesday webinar. Um, as they indicated earlier, you should be able to find a copy of this presentation and the webinar recording out on our success portal. Thank you again for attending today, everyone.